we are on the countdown to My Adventures with Superman. The Man of Steel is finally coming back in his own animated series, and we thought it would be a great time to break down everything we know about the upcoming series. So let's dive in. Well, Superman is probably one of the most influential characters in all of fiction. And despite that popularity, it has been a really long time since he's had his own solo animated series. Luckily for us, My Adventures with Superman is coming to life and will join Cartoon Network in the upcoming year. But there are a lot of details that have been revealed about the project, so we thought we could take a couple minutes to dive in. Now, as the title suggests, the new series is going to follow Clark Kent as he figures out how to become the world's greatest superhero. Pretty clear the series is going to follow a younger Superman, and we're going to see him in his adventures alongside his classic companions, Lois Lane and Jimmy Olsen. Now, early on, we got an official synopsis, and it does break down what to expect from the show. It reads... In this serialized coming-of-age story, we follow Clark as he builds his secret Superman identity and embraces his role as the hero of Metropolis and perhaps the world. Lois, now growing into a star investigative journalist, takes aspiring photographer Jimmy Olsen under her wing. All the while, Clark and Lois are falling in love, sharing adventures, taking down bad guys, stumbling over secrets, and discovering what it means to be Superman and Lois Lane. Now, the big thing I take away from the description is this will be a serialized series, meaning each episode will be an interconnected story telling a larger tale over the whole season, which is honestly something fans have come to expect. It's also very clear, like the upcoming Superman Legacy, this is going to follow the early days of Superman as Metropolis gets to know their new hero and as he gets to know the rogues gallery of villains that Superman has in the comics. Now, we did get a trailer, but it was only 16 seconds long, so the only thing it really revealed is the animation style and how bright and colorful, as well as fast-paced, the upcoming series will be. The character designs are very unique, but it does still feel very true to the classic Superman mythology. Sadly, at this point, it currently does not have a release date, but we do know it will debut on Adult Swim later this year. Now, if you remember correctly, it was initially given a two-season order on HBO Max and Cartoon Network, but when James Gunn and Peter Safran took over, the status of the show was a bit up in the air until it was moved to Adult Swim in the Toonami block. Now, there is a ton of talent behind the scene with a voice cast including Jack Quaid, Alice Lee, and Ismail Saeed. Now, Quaid is probably best known for his role as Huey Campbell in the prime video series The Boys, and should bring a lot of attention to the role. Now, Alice Lee is probably best known as Emily in Zoe's Extraordinary Planet, and Ismail Saeed is probably best known for his role as Clark, ironically, in the short-lived series Cousins for Life. Now, Sam Register, who is president of Warner Brothers Animation, is on the board as an executive producer, along with producer Zach Wyatt, who worked on Invader Zim, Brendan Clogger, who worked on Voltron Legendary Defender, and co-producer Josie Campbell, who is best known for her work on She-Ra, Princess of Power. Now, Register, who is clearly leading the crew, said, This is the first animated Superman series in many years, and we want to tell our Superman story through the trio of Clark, Lois, and Jimmy, whose relationship dynamic will allow for rich, serialized, and engaging stories as we explore their lives as individuals and their journey together as friends. Now, once again, it's worth noting they seem to be emphasizing this serialized nature rather than it being episodic as previous DC shows. It also appears stylistically My Adventures with Superman will be much closer to Superman the Animated Series rather than the more recent Justice League action, giving it some fine-tuning that I think fans are going to enjoy. Now, we do know there's a whole new world of DC coming to life with DC Studios and James Gunn, but this series will not fall into that continuity. It's definitely part of the Elseworlds label, where shows like Teen Titans Go, The Penguin, and even Batman the Cape Crusader can find their own way without the limitations of being tied to projects that are in the works at the studio. Now, like I said, we're waiting on the release date, but there's a ton of fan anticipation for this project, and I do think it's going to be a big hit. Honestly, we're way overdue for a great new Superman series, and I think it'll be a great filler until we finally get James Gunn's Superman Legacy in 2025. But until the show drops, we're going to have to wait and see.